Hello. Today I'm going to read you The Painted Ponies and Sailor is going to be here with me while I read it. They're the end papers with all the different painted ponies, all the different colours. Here's the dedication for the book. It's dedicated to my granddaughter Winifred, or Winnie we call her, and it's in memory of my friend Helen Packer who lived up in the mountains and who had lots and lots of painted ponies. And there's the title page, The Painted Ponies. Matilda loved staying at Grandma Lucky's house. There was a pony called Luna, Ginger Cat, Big Dog, and the Painted Ponies. The Painted Ponies were kept inside a carved wagon. Inside there was a stall for each one. The Gold Palomino, the Chestnut, the Bay, the Pinto, the Brown and the Dapply Grey. Why does this pony have a star? Matilda asked Lucky one day, and Lucky told her. Oh, sorry, sailor. Didn't mean to hit you on the nose with the book. When I was a little girl, my family had a traveling show. We followed the sun all over the country with our clever animals. There were dogs who could play football, dancing goats, clairvoyant hens, and Hercules, the biggest horse in the world. Mother trained the animals and was the trick rider. Dad played the guitar and sang. Uncle Remy was the ringmaster and I twirled my lasso. They called me Lucky Star. One summer, as we traveled over the Smoky Mountains, we saw six wild ponies playing in the shimmering grass. We saw a gold palomino, a chestnut, a bay, a pinto a brown and a dapply grey. We moved on from the hills to the coast, but we couldn't stop dreaming about those ponies. We could see their glossy coats shining in the sun and their manes swirling as they bucked and danced around each other. Mother and I talked about how wonderful it would be to have them in the show. No, said Dad, let them be, they're wild horses. But in the deep of winter, mother and Uncle Remy returned to the mountains to capture the ponies. When they found them, they weren't dancing anymore. They were huddled together, shivering with cold. When the ponies arrived, I brushed them and combed the tangles out of their manes and tails. The gold palomino, the chestnut, the bay, the pinto, the brown and the dapply grey. The ponies were clever and calm and easy to train. They soon became part of our show and I loved them all. The gold palomino took the hens for a ride as they knew she would. The pinto loved to dance. The bay was a trickster. He's stealing Uncle Remy's hat. The chestnut raced the dogs around the ring. The brown could count. Look, he's going tap, 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 tap. When mum holds it up the number four. And the dapply gray was mine. She trotted sure and steady as I danced and tumbled on her back. The ponies were a hit. People traveled from far away to see them. I think that's my favorite picture. But as summer came, I often saw the ponies looking towards the distant mountains. They loved the show, but they wanted to go home. When we reached the foothills of the mountains, the ponies stamped and whinnied in their stalls. I knew what was wrong. That still moonlit night, I crept outside. The ponies were waiting for me. I patted each one, then let down the slip rails. Go, I whispered. Mm. 
As the ponies thundered away, the dust they raised hung in the air like mist. I cried for the gold palomino, the chestnut, the bay, the pinto, the brown and the dapply grey. Then in the still night, I heard the sound of one pony trotting back up the road. Out of the gloom came the dapply grey, my dapply grey. She came back to me. And then the very last picture in the book doesn't have any words. And you see the little girl Matilda with Lucky out in the paddock practicing her tricks and the painted ponies are all lined up on the tree. And then the end packet papers at the very back of the book show the ponies with all their names. This is May, Tricky, Biscuit, Cisco, Star, Albert, and then we see the dogs too, and we see, it says here, we called the do dogs the yak and danders because that's where we found them, a litter of puppies in a box on the side of the road. So they've all got their names too. There's Buffy, Rosie, Bob, Mavis, Pants, Patch, and Fatty. And then this is Luna, who is the granddaughter of Star. And that's the end of the story. Thanks for listening. Say goodbye, sailor. Goodbye.